Welcome back everybody. So this is going to be an update mainly on the Chato reactor. Um, so far the tank itself has been doing really well. Uh, right now it's probably about 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes until this whole light shuts down so the corals are kind of going to sleep. Um, but so far everything's been going great. Uh, I haven't really had a day of pissed off corals, which is pretty good considering this is a new tank. Um, the one thing I did have was a uh, bacteria bloom. Um, that lasted about two days where the water column was just a little bit cloudy. Um, no amount of filtration was really getting that out. Um, but it came and went and there's probably like a small kind of bit of cloudiness. But other than that, you know, and my hypothesis on, is on that. I'm getting a UV sterilizer because I don't want the uh, waterborne bacteria to outcompete the bacteria that's growing on the surface area of the uh, rock and marine pier. Um, so I will be running a UV sterilizer just to make sure until the water column, maybe for a day or two, and that's about it, and pulling it out and using that as needed. Um, but right now I basically, on the left side, have a uh, uh, filter floss and um, uh, what is it? Seachem matrix carbon. I don't really use like the. Uh, I used to use like uh, Chemi, was it Chemi Pure, and those kind of overpriced carbons. But honestly, just regular carbon has been always doing it for me since I I just got off of those. Um, and then I have the Nano eShops protein skimmer, and on the other side, just uh, filter floss with the Marine Pure rocks for the more surface area for the bacteria and the Chato reactor. Alright, let's take a look here. The Chato reactor has been going on for about um, two weeks now and these are the third set of lights. What they are are, uh, I think you call them like LED dual clamp lights. So basically there's two of these strips on one unit. Let's see if I can focus in there. Um, but you can see, and I have two, two, so two units, so four total strips around this. Each one's, um, about 20 bucks, uh, 20, 25 dollars, but I'm really happy with those. I, I don't want to, uh, strap the, uh, the LED strip lights to wrap around it. I don't want them to, um, get in, you know, I don't want to put that direct heat in contact with the Chato reactor, seeing that other people are having problems lately now that, that it's gotten more popular. Um, and this way it's only emitting light to it. It's really not getting much heat, at, if any at all, to the Chato reactor. So I'm pretty much safe on that with a better peace of mind. Um, have them about an inch away from the reactor. And the amount of light so far is perfect um, with these. And each unit is rated at 18 watts, but honestly, um, just by looking at them, they're actually USB plug, and it seems that each one is actually only about about 10, 12 watts. So about 20, I'd say, I'd say to be safe, it's about 20 watts total going all the way around this Chato reactor. I did have that PAR38 light, and honestly that, I believe, was too much light. I was really not getting much growth. It was growing, but really slowly to where I could tell I'd be trimming this Chato down um, probably every month probably take a month for it to fill this chamber up. Um, so then I moved, I had this extra little, I, I believe it's about a 10 or 15 watt little LED grow light. They're all in the same kind of spectrum. Um, I put that on there, I noticed the Chato started growing even faster. Um, but since I put these on, which they've been on for about three days now, this Chato, I don't know if you can see it, but it just started reaching up, trying to break through this thing. I mean, it's it moved probably grew in full from here in about three days and I could tell just by these lights honestly about every week or two I'd probably have to trim down this Chato at this rate so that's about it actually these are pretty good um, I don't think I'll have an issue with them they do have a little bit of light bleed but uh, honestly once the light shuts off everything goes to sleep there's not really much light at all getting into the actual display tank um, once it shuts down and it kind of is kind of just
good for the room. It just has a little bit of light, kind of like a night light. With the PAR 38 though, it was too much light bleed. It was almost to where the corals did not want to sleep with that out there and it was just, it was overpowering. But this seems to be the perfect combination here. So if you have any uh, questions, comments, or concern, leave them down below. I'll be updating uh, some more. So if you want to subscribe uh, and follow me, go ahead and uh, do that and be appreciated. Alright, thanks everybody.